right, I'm gonna try this again. Uh, I tried recording it about 10 minutes ago, but the skies opened up. Yeah, it was raining the entire time, so. Uh, real quick, 1997 Nissan Stagia 260RS Autec version. It's uh, number 308 out of 1,734 ever made. RB26, R33 GTR tribe train to include a Tezen high cast system. Uh, I posted a mod list. I'll go over uh, it shortly as I walk around the car. I probably will miss a lot of things as it's a very extensive mod list. But pretty much over $30,000 in upgrades, uh, performance parts, and tuning for this car. Um, complete forged internals, HKS forged pistons, Ryzen forged rods. Uh, all work was done at Speed Factory, which is now N Factory, by Mr. Uh, Norichika himself. Uh, so yeah, quick walk around the car. I will point out any blemishes that I know on the car. Uh, for the paint and body, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Uh, it is approaching 25 years old. I have had a couple of rust spots um, fixed by Okinawa Vehicle Sport, mainly the driver and passenger uh, underneath the side mirrors is a known issue for these vehicles so they completely cut out the rusted metal replaced and repaired and resprayed you can barely tell uh, they also did fix my front bumper it is a Mazda GT front bumper um, replicated off the R34 GTR front end uh, they did repair it as it is fiberglass and then two to three weeks after they repaired it we went to Akuma with a couple buddies um, got stuck on a grass berm and I gave it a boo-boo again, hence the band-aid. Uh, so that will need to get repaired again. Again, it is fiberglass. They do fiberglass repair and they do um, color matching for the paint. If I remember correctly, it was about $500 for the first repair. So I'd assume five to $600 again for a repair for the fiberglass. Very quick turnaround and they do provide a loaner car um, by request. So highly recommend OVS. Uh, they did great work. R34 genuine GTR rims all the way around, 18 by nines I believe, or nine and a half, one of the two. Uh, DBA slotted 4,000 rotors, uh, maybe 5,000 kilometers on them. EBC, yellow stuff, brake pads, same, maybe 5,000 kilometers on them. Again, R33 GTR Brembo's front and rear. Uh, teen Flexi coilovers all the way around and Yokohama Advan Neovas, 8008s, 265, 35, 18 all the way around. Uh, they maybe have about 7,000 kilometers on them as I installed those uh, pretty quickly after I got the car. Um, but again, the repair work, I posted photos of it. Very hard to tell that any repair was even done. Again, OVS did a great job, but again, like I said, on a seller, I will point out blemishes as I see them. Um, but for a 25 year old car, this car is in great condition. <clears throat> um, had Fred Cruz and the guys, uh, Okinawa Auto Salon provide a uh, paint correction and four year ceramic coat. Uh, so that is applied on the vehicle. Uh, to help out with the um, Okinawa rust issue with the rain and the beach spray, ocean spray with the typhoons. So, again, all the wheels are in near perfect condition, if not perfect condition. I have not been able to see, to find a single blemish on these wheels. Really, really good condition. Body lines are straight. No history that I know of uh, for accident history or anything like that. Um, the tab for the wing uh, is broken off on one side. So with some coaxing, it will pop off, but it doesn't fall off or anything. It's uh, secured on the one side. Just probably a really easy fix. Just haven't gone around to it. Uh, window seal, courtesy of my wonderful children. Uh, pretty much the wiper arm you can move about uh, they like to plant a driveway they moved my wiper arm down i was not aware of it and i turned it on to clean, clean my window and it got my window seal <clears throat> so that'll need 
some attention. Uh, quick fix would be like RTV silicone to patch it, or you just go to Nissan, probably order a new window seal for it. Uh, 260 RS rear bumper, no issues. Kakamoto Mega N1 Premium exhaust. So it's uh, the exhaust itself is three and a half inches, 90 millimeters. Um, it does have a test pipe, a Tomy Extreme three inch test pipe to a Gretti slash N1 fabbed downpipe from the turbo. It is a big single turbo. Uh, Borg Warner EFR 8374 installed. Um, I see full boost. Uh, which is 1.5 bar is my low boost setting and 1.8 bar is my high boost setting. I see full boost around 4200 to 4300 RPM. Uh, great, great turbo board warners. Seven gallon snow performance water methanol kit installed. It's a 50-50. You see in there? Yeah, it's in there. 50-50 water methanol. I use pure methanol that I order off of Amazon. Gets shipped straight to my house. Comes in uh, 16 liter containers and they're about $50 a piece uh, with uh, $50 shipping. So, not bad. Um, this is your low fluid sensor and then your supply line going to the pump, which is installed underneath all this. Um, I know I put it in some of my for sale ads, but I'm not sure if I posted it in the Okinawa ones. The car is currently operating in wheel wheel drive. Yes, it is supposed to be an all-wheel drive system from the R33, but the Ateza ECU, which is located in there, is throwing a code 31, which is for your driver's side rear wheel speed sensor. So I have a replacement off of my buddy's 260RS uh, that he regretfully wrecked last year. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to swapping it out yet and seeing if that fixes the issue. Uh, but there it is. Uh, two 10 inch sundowns installed in the rear. It's got a thousand watt amp. Uh, it's installed on the back side of the box, uh, hidden away. And then the doors have Rockford Fosgates all around. So pretty decent uh, sound system. A little bump in the trunk for your dad wagon. Uh, but yeah. Uh, there are some, some paint chips that have like a uh, touch up paint. Kind of hard to tell with the rain. Um, I know of two that are on this panel. They're not anything big. Obviously, can't really. Hard to tell where. Yep. Again, wheels, great condition. Tires, great condition. Car, very good condition for its age and for what it is. Side skirts, great condition. Just the one blemish on, actually I guess they both have a similar little stress crack in the same areas. Oh, no big deal, oh, nothing a uh, seasoned body shop or even uh, anybody on island that's uh, good at body work could probably repair for you. I do believe that is plastic though, not a fiberglass like the bumper. We'll show everything with the engine turned off as the first video I did was with it on. Had the nice rumble of the exhaust, but I was trying to speak over it the entire time. Uh, HKS front mount intercooler. Uh, also has a unknown manufacturer oil cooler. Uh, it's installed in this area. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is there. Um, so pretty much any and all upgrades that you can think of for an RB26, I'd say 90% of them were performed on this car. No, I'm about to show you. The old coup de gras. Again, motor off. And then I'll turn on the motor. See, it turns over very easily. Runs great. Uh, OVS also resprayed my engine compartment with the engine in, so it wasn't a full respray. Um, but they did take care of some, they call it worming corrosion that was in the seals of the top hats, which is very um, common on Nissans, period. Just the way they're built with the overlapping metals. Again, teen flex G coilovers. 
front and rear. Uh, just off the top of my head, again, snow performance, uh, dual nozzle, spray kit, uh, radium engineering, fuel rail and fuel pressure regulator, um, FIC, fuel injector clinic, 1000cc injectors, um, ARD uh, high output alternator installed, uh, Borg Warner 8374, um, what else we got, uh, Gretti twin scroll manifold that I wrapped myself, a hard piping kit, Gretti, and then HKS on the opposite side for hard piping, a Haltech four bar map sensor, so it is a map sensor. The garden hose, if you will, line is because I haven't had time to get a uh, oil catch can fabbed up. They don't make proper ones for this car. Um, I'm sure you can get a 33 or a 34 to fit, uh, but as you can tell, they would go right there for a 33 or in the back, but I'm not doing an ABS delete. Um, so I'd have to get with um, a fabricator if I wanted to actually get a legit oil catch can. So for the purpose of JCI, you would just pop that off, uh, plug that line that it's going into, and that's it for the JCI. Just so it's not uh, venting the atmosphere. That's pretty much all it is, just a vent. As uh, if you know RV26s, they have uh, oil issues in the head. Um, so oil catch cans, things of that nature. Venting the atmosphere is uh, highly recommended. I do have a lot of head work done on, to, on this. It's a NAPRIC Stage 2 high response kit um, head straight from mainland, NAPRIC and mainland, look them up. Um, so it's been port and polished, high flowed. Uh, I got BC, titanium valve springs and retainers, uh, plus one millimeter oversized um, exhaust and intake valves, the works. Um, so it's a lot more responsive, uh, flows better, uh, doesn't have as much oiling issues either. Also have in the block the uh, Tome oil restrictors uh, to help out with the oil issues as well. And then on the bottom, I'll get wet so you can see underneath the car, but I do have an extended oil sump installed. Trust, extended oil sump. Um, again, for the oiling issues, try to remedy it as best I could. I have not had a single oil problem. I do have a June aftermarket upgraded oil pump installed, so yeah. Um, every box that was there to take, I try to take it. Uh, GT carbon fiber cooling panel. It is for an S1. Of course, it's raining again. Uh, it is originally for an S1, so I had to trim it to fit. Uh, fits good for the most part. Uh, it does rub in some areas. Uh, so you'll see paint transfer and things of that nature. Uh, but real quick, interior. As I'm getting out of the rain. So it doesn't want to stop. Okay, now Thank you. Wash your car, man. I'll tell you. It rains every time. Um, so the car, just turn on my accessories to the gauges. We got a Haltech um, can gauge. Also a PowerTune Digital company out of Australia with the digital display. We still have the OEM display behind it, still operational. Everything's still plugged into the ECU, still responds, everything, all the lights still work. You name it, she's got it. Odometer reading, true odometer reading. Focus, there you go. 120.438 as of this post. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not positive on if the power tune digital needs to be removed for JCI, so that's why I didn't remove the OEM cluster. So that's just a quick, uh, I believe it's like four simple screws, three wires, take it out, go JCI it, she's good to go. Caltech can art gauge. I'm not going to read accurate right now because the car's off, but you got your air, coolant, fuel pressure, oil pressure, knock, um, AFR, and your turbo target. Um, that connects directly to your phone. There's an app that you can install, uh, Bluetooth to your phone, and you can literally customize those pages to whatever you want to read. Um, kind of redundant. I purchased that first, installed that first uh, before I got the PowerTune Digital. Um, so like I said, kind of redundant, but you know, it's there, it's cool. Uh, GPS, it's used for uh, speed. You cannot use maps or anything like that, not yet at least. 
Uh, you can put the purpose of the GPS, there's the module, GPS module, is uh, so you can get a speed reading. Um, it does have a power team digital virtual dyno. I don't have, know how accurate it is. I've never used it. And then your map. I did not, excuse me, your menu. And again, this can be fully customizable. Uh, you just hold onto the screen or you double tap the screen on it too. Yep, and then you get your, you can't see it, but the menu pops up. Yep. And you can uh, adjust whatever you want to read. You just click on it, you would change. Uh, what you want the value to be or what you want the actual information to be and it's good to go uh, This is the module for the snow performance water methanol kit uh, It's good to go. No need to adjust it. You don't even touch it um, It starts spraying at one bar of boost this red light will come on when it's spraying and it uh, Sprays all the way throughout the pool after one bar. It's a uh, has a vacuum line that connects to the same uh, vacuum line for the ECU so it's a true uh, reading for your turbo PSI uh, Boss just a uh, rinky-dink uh, Typhoon motors special uh, It is Bluetooth uh, Again, I do have two 10-inch subs and rocker phosphates around um, So it does the job um, It's got a little bump in the trunk um, Haltech Elite 2500 no real good place to mount it and so if you do decide to keep it there uh, just tell passengers watch their feet uh, normally would go in that area the kick panel um, but with the the, uh, the harness adapter that doesn't fit it's uh, too big so that's where I got it right now um, I got some Recaro SR3 Le Mans confettis uh, they are a bit worn for wear uh, so this one could use some cleaning some uh, rebolstering reupholstery uh, the driver's side uh, needs some reupholstery. I can show you it right there. Your normal areas, and then uh, again, the hip holsters could use some attention as well. Uh, let me see if I can get my light on. There we go. The rear, roomy-ish, enough room for three. I, I put my children in here, take them to school, go get the groceries, do everything real quick. They love it. They love the car. Um, door cards are near immaculate. I'd give them an 8.5 out of 10 all the way around. Uh, the mats, floor mats, uh, in the fronts, they're fairly new. I got these from Australia. They have a little uh, Stagia emblem. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the rears are the stock OEM double unicorns. Um, they're worn. I mean, again, 25 year old car. Um, the rain's still coming down, but uh, we'll go ahead and start her up. As you can see, she starts right up. I turn everything off. Walbro 450 pump you can hear in the back. Probably not on this uh, the phone, but she is good to go. Car is in neutral. Nismo short shifter and start. I don't know if you can hear it. Car is started. There you go. Fuel pressure, oil pressure. Everything's reading. Again, uh, for the pers uh, prospective buyers, if if you're in audio, I would get a different head unit. For some reason, I can't get this one to um, keep the memory. So normally on a normal car, you turn on the car, it turns on automatically, it connects to your phone automatically, um, it doesn't reset all of your audio settings, like this one. Um, but this one does, and I can't figure out why. But um, once you get everything on, it's got good, good bump. In peace. Let's see if we got ambulance real quick. While that's playing through, I'll wait for the uh, baseline. Uh, AC blows good and true. Here. Everything works on AC. Everything works. out real quick show the motor in the rain get wet again and then I'll uh, call it a day yep, there we go
Can't catch a break with this rain. Good girl, there she is. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Later, peace.